We have a voicemail number. The number is two one nine two David P. I made a mistake last week and I apologize for it. I'll remind you what the mistake was, and it relates to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Violet Beauregard turns into a blueberry, not Augustus Gloop. Augustus Gloop, um, he is so fat that he gets stuck in the whatever tubing system is carrying the chocolate out to that yeah. river. But it was Violet Beauregard who swelled to the blue to the size of a blueberry and turned blue. Yeah. So I, last week we were talking on the bonus show the, you know, the bonus show, I hope. Oh, the bonus show yeah. where you want to make money. Yes. Sir. Everybody else that makes money to fund themselves is bad. We were talking about the effort to rewrite elements of Roald Dahl's books, including Willy Wonka, uh, the Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Will, I forget that with the book and movie have a different name. In any case, one of the things is they don't like Augustus Gloop being described as enormously fat anymore. That's, I guess, wrong. So publishers want to change it to something else. And I was describing, you know, he's like he swells like a blueberry, but that is not the story. It is indeed Violet that swells like a blueberry. And Augustus Gloop is the one who gets like stuck in the piping, I guess, of the chocolate factory. I was wrong about what I said. My analysis is the same, which I am against the rewriting of books. I think the book is a complete act. It is not to be now retrospectively modified. Yes, Roald Dahl was a horrible anti-Semite. That's a separate issue from whether we should mess with the vocabulary in the book. Uh, and we had an extensive conversation about this with Pat on the bonus show, which I welcome you to check out. But I was wrong in my retelling of the story, and I apologize. We have a great bonus show for you today. Democrats have seen a major shift and now prefer Joe Biden as the nominee. Interesting. An Idaho bill would criminalize giving mRNA vaccines. What? Why? You can probably guess. And the Pentagon is warning that poppy seed bagels could be a threat to national security. Yes, it is related to the Seinfeld episode about the poppy seed bagel. So we will talk about all of those stories and more on today's bonus show. Please do yourselves a favor. Sign up at joinpacman.com before they take your machines. We're doing a class action lawsuit against all machines before they take your phone and your espresso machine and your desktop computer and all of it. Get a membership at joinpacman.com. I'll see you on the bonus show.